you're watching Blueprint. Today I'm at the Renegade Craft Festival in Denver, Colorado, admiring all of the amazing creators, designers, and makers from all around the globe. And today I'm hanging out with Jennifer Reyes, a bullet journaler, designer, and artist behind Ink by Jang. Ink by Jang actually started out as a ink illustrator, so I used to really like drawing in my sketchbook. Okay. I got really into planning, which specifically is bullet journaling. I use a lot of different paper crafting techniques and scrapbooking techniques. What exactly is a bullet journal? Uh, bullet journal is a system that's actually developed by Ryder Carroll, and the, at the heart of it is there's an index and being able to actually plan out your days. The very simple form of it is actually just a bullet list. Okay. And so being able to have a different system of grids. You make all of these different accessories so that people yes. can have the coolest and best bullet journals of all time. Exactly. Because I couldn't just stick with just a simple list. I had to actually go and create weekly spreads and being able to actually um, kind of decorate it. This is like the most beautiful journal I've ever seen. Thank you. I, I love it. I really love paper and being able to draw. So I would love if you could walk us through some of the products that you sell. So this is a new product. It's completely handmade. It's a traveler's notebook. It's made out of leather. I cut it and I condition it and I also made the journals. And so this is a clear stamp kit that features the different calendar numbers that you would use. So you take an acrylic block and from the stamp kit, you can peel off the stamp and you just stick it on and then you use it like a rubber stamp. One of the things that I love is you have, you have all of these different types of tape. And this is the washi tape. Um, these are hand drawn inside of my journal and then I digitize them and put them into my iPad okay. and I use my Apple Pen to trace over it and then I send the files over to a washi tape manufacturer. Great. wanted to be able to show you is how easy it is to actually be able to use different tools to make your journal kind of look nice and a little bit more consistent. So this is a stencil that I absolutely love and it lines up to the grid like this and because it's see-through you can actually see the dots and then you just create the boxes and so someone who's not artistic oh or who doesn't gosh. have a straight line can do something like that. But in addition, it also has a couple of different icons. So say you're going somewhere on Friday, you can actually create a tiny little location symbol without having to have any artistic abilities and even a little cloud. So with the cloud you, in the circle, you can make a sun. So then you can even have weather icons. And having the stencil and it fits in the back of your journal just makes it so easy to be able to add to your spread without feeling the pressure of not being able to draw. When I'm developing new products, it's a whirlwind. I have paper, I have leather <laughs> everywhere, and it's hard to contain it all. But eventually, I take a look at something, and when it clicks, it clicks. A part of this is also my journey to figure out how to stay organized. I actually have a handwriting guide online awesome. that I love being able to print out and practice myself. For the more cursive handwriting, it doesn't come overnight. It's yes. definitely something that you have to practice. And so being able to use my journal to be able to practice some of those things just makes it really, really easy. It's a journey. It's beautiful. Thank you. Now, so one of the things I know about you is your Instagram following is quite large. You have about 50,000 followers. Yeah, about that. So for other artists out there who are trying to like build their brand and build their following, what advice can you give them? And how did you get so many followers? I'm actually not sure how I got so many followers. <laughs> Honestly, I think in staying true to your work is the, the biggest thing. I find Instagram to be such a good way to be able to connect with people. Jen, thank you so much for all the information. This is my new bullet journal, y'all. I'm gonna start tonight because oh, you have all awesome. the tools. I don't know about you, but I am definitely going to try to become a bullet journaler now that I've chatted with Jen. Mark my words, next year at this time, I'm gonna be so organized. Stay tuned for more coverage of the Renegade Craft Festival right here on Blueprint.